there, I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel. I share all things parenting, motherhood, homemaking, lifestyle, travel, um, style, that's the other one. So if you enjoy these things then please do subscribe to my channel. I am mum to two girls, Rosalie who is three and Maeve who has just turned 12 months old, so I have a one year old and a three year old. This video is going to be about how to get your baby to take a dummy. The dummy. It's a controversial one. Both my girls had dummies, they were both breastfed babies and I absolutely swear by getting your baby to have a dummy. You know when babies make that really annoying whining noise like you know they've been fed, you know they're clean, you've changed their bum, they need to go to sleep but they don't want to go to sleep, like a dummy is a lifesaver. Also, if you're breastfeeding, I didn't want my baby hanging on my nipple unnecessarily. Newborn babies, all they know how to do is suck. I don't want my baby sucking on my nipple when she doesn't have to be. Breastfeeding can be painful enough at the start and I didn't want her sucking just for comfort. I only wanted her to be able to feed off my boobs, so that's where the dummy comes in. It's amazing. There are so many dummies on the market and you will find the ones that work for you. I use these dummies, mam dummies, for both my girls when they were newborns. I find them really handy. They're quite small um, and I don't know, the teeth's quite nipple shaped, so I think maybe that's why they got on with them because they were both breastfed. Um, they have glow in the dark ones. This one's a glow in the dark one. So at night if they lose their dummy you can find it again and give it to them they're just really great they also come with this little sterile box which i think is amazing if you drop them on the floor or anything you just pop a little bit of water in here pop them in the microwave for three minutes and then they will be sterile for 48 hours you can also travel with them into this little box it keeps them nice and clean and yeah i just really like the man ones for a newborn we've now moved on to now she's like 12 months old We've moved on to these Avent ones, mainly because I just like the fact that they're clear and they like go with every outfit. <laughs> Purely a style choice here. <laughs> I've attached them to these dummy clips. You can buy loads of different dummy clips. You can buy dummy clips for the man ones as well, which I do have. These are then attached to their clothes so you don't use them. Yeah, they're just a few accessories that we use for our dummies. But how to get your baby to take a dummy in the first place, this is what you all want to know. And really, it's really simple. All you have to do is keep putting it back in at first they will spit them out and every time they do you gotta put it back in again and just keep doing that until they get it and eventually they will they will want that themselves if you are breastfeeding what I used to do is when I'd be feeding Maeve when she finished feeding you can kind of tell because the way they suck slows down <laughs> sometimes they start snoring on you what I would do is just sort of like whilst I was feeding her ease my boob out get a dummy and then sneak the dummy back in in its place. Hold it then again for another five minutes or so. So she's still on you, still sucking the dummy. And then once I knew she was still asleep, I would transfer her to the Moses basket so she could continue sleeping in there. So, so you kind of have to trick them into uh, taking a dummy. But honestly, in my opinion, I think it is so worth it. It comforts them when nothing else will. As a mum of two, I had to put her down sometimes. I couldn't carry her around the whole time. So she needed a way to comfort herself when I wasn't there. You know when you just need to put the baby down and go and put washing, hang the washing out or you need to start making dinner because it's dinner time and your baby won't be put down. Obviously she still does scream and there are times when the dummy won't soothe her but more often than not she will be soothed by the dummy and yeah, it's a lifesaver. Like even now when she's grouchy at witching hour about four or five o'clock when I'm trying to make the dinner, I put her in a little walker, she scoots around the kitchen, normally going, ah, ah, ah. so I put the dummy in, and then she just sort of like, it's less annoying, she's more like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I don't know, some people think that dummies are bad parenting, and you're not listening to your baby's needs, but I'm a mum of two, I've got to get on and do stuff, and a dummy helps me to do that, and I would honestly, for your own sanity, I would recommend them to any mother. The trick is knowing when to give a dummy up. That is another problem. Um, and I will touch on that because the helpers have told me that I should give it up at 12 months. But I'm not ready to give it up yet. It will be soon. Rosalie got rid of her dummy at, when she was 18 months old. And honestly, you just have to go cold turkey. You just have to decide that you are going to take the dummies away and just take them away. Also, I think if you do it at 18 months old, they don't, they can't communicate with you. So they can't ask for it um, 
well they do communicate with you and you will know that's what they want but you can they're not asking for a word i think that's a good age to do it because they can't speak to you and tell you that's what they want and you can normally give them something else to occupy them like a teddy or another comforter toy instead i think if you leave it longer than 18 months they're so much more aware of what they want and they have a stronger attachment to it and it's harder to give up so i would recommend 18 months as a really good age to get rid of it the health visit as i said came at 12 months and told her we needed to get rid of it now because that's what she recommends for their teeth and their speech development but rosalie as i said added to 18 months she's never had any problems with her speech and may's only got four teeth so i'm really not worried about her teeth at the moment I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you. If you're trying to get your baby to take a dummy, just persevere with it. Keep putting it back in and eventually they will crack it. And I promise you it'll be worth it in the end. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down below and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.